So that coffee shop opened about a week ago, Wiedenski Diem Vienna House. I just had coffee there with my great friend, the notorious Andriy Draza, and he's gonna show me the SBU building. Uh, no, public prosecutor's public office. Public prosecutor's uh, office. Oh, well, there's a fence, so we should, should cross the street. Place. Okay. Maybe so let us go and then. Today's what, the 19th? 19th. 19th, uh, it's about 2 p.m. There is Danilo Halitsky. He is the king, king that founded. Lviv in, I believe, the 14th century and named it after his son, Lev. Not 14th, 13th. 13th, 13th century. He was part of the Rurik dynasty from Kiev, as I understand it. Uh, 100 years after the city's founding, there was a secession crisis and it became a Polish city and remained so for well, 400 I, I, years. I think that Lviv was already one of the major, major cities of the uh, Galician, Volinia kingdom. Uh, uh -huh. So it was a separate uh, state from Kiev. Right. Kingdom, so. Right. Separate state, but part of the part of the dynasty. The part the founders the here were related yeah, to and, the and, and the rulers of when Kiev. The last, when the last, uh, you know, man from the dynasty died with no children, so the Polish kings just invaded uh, into, into Galician it, kingdom. In, invaded or was it a peaceful transition? No, it was, uh, at first it was peaceful, uh, it, there was some uh, Hungarian kings who, who had the uh, right to rule here, but Kazimer Veliki, Kazimer is a great uh -huh. Polish king. In uh, 1340, he he did the military in, uh, invader uh, yeah, in, in, invasion. Yeah, yeah, invasion here, and he just uh, robbed the city, burned the castle down, and then he claimed himself the king of this territory. So it was a military in the force, uh -huh. a force, so not in a peaceful way. That's one of the reasons I love Andriy is because he, he knows everything about Ukrainian history and, <laughs> and I'm eager to learn. So there's Hotel George. Yeah, Hotel George. There's the uh, monument to the Polish anti-communist poet. Or maybe he sh I shouldn't I'm classify him that way. He, he was a poet and he was somewhat anti-communist. Mitskevich. Mitskevich. He's like... Uh, no, I wouldn't say he was anti-communist because he's... He lived in 19th century, and he's the prototype, like uh, Taras Shevchenko in Ukrainian okay. literature. Okay. So, is a central figure. Okay. Uh, let me just. So earlier we were down there. Right, that was the the very center, Hotel George. Here's Gloria Jean's coffee shop, and one of the managers there. I, I spoke to her today. She she w went away from Gloria. Or it used to be Gloria Jeans, part of the franchise, then it became Glory Cafe. And it was one of the managers from here who went, and now she works at the Vienna House Cafe, which opened last week. So here we're going on Prospect Shevchenka, uh, Shevchenko Street. This is the road. Uh, the name of the street was Akademichna Street, Academic uh -huh. Street, Academic Prospect, it, and it was the main. Uh, the main street, the main avenue for pedestrians to walk for a long time. It wasn't, it was not allowed for cars and different transport, uh, different vehicles to to move here. Just walking. I keep accidentally pressing buttons on my phone. I hope I didn't disturb the video. <laughs> okay, I think it's good. All right, all right. I gotta decide which way I want to hold this thing. There's a McDonald's, and here is the beginning of uh, Shev Prospect Shevchenka, Shevchenka Street.
Uh, and I think after I finish this video, I'm gonna go there and have lunch. Puzata Chata. It's a funny name. Puzata means uh, swollen belly, like swollen from eating. So it's swollen belly house. Let's flip this around without pressing any buttons on my phone. <laughs> so An Andri was telling me that a lot of pol like there are no police in Lviv now. Obviously, you can see the <laughs> we're very civilized people. <laughs> Everything is completely normal. Um, but Andri was telling me that last night. Okay, well I accidentally turned off my camera, so I'm gonna play this again. Here we are at the prosecutor's office. Uh, it's on. Prospect Shevchenka, Shevchenka Street. One of the, uh, it's right in the, this is the center of the city. Uh, beautiful street, later I'm gonna have lunch over there in Puzata Khata, Swollen Belly House restaurant. And uh, here is the prosecutor's office, it was also raided last night. And in front of the prosecutor's office, it's all the all the files and computers and furniture have been built, burnt. Uh, they probably wanted to destroy any records because they're very likely keeping records on the protesters. And just to give you a sense of the tension that, that exists in Ukraine, um, this monument right here, it's been here since uh, 2000. So this monument has been here for 14 years. Uh, that picture is... Uh, is a, a, of a Ukrainian composer, Ihor, I forgot his name, oh, Bilo, Ihor Bilozira. He's a Ukrainian composer, and apparently in 2000, he was at a restaurant on this street, and he was with his wife, and he asked the restaurant to, to switch the music. It was Russian music, and he said, hey, why don't you switch to Ukrainian music? And there was sort of a, a shouting match with him and two... Uh, Russian-speaking guys who were policemen, out-of-uniform policemen, and he ended up leaving the, the restaurant, and, and they followed him, and there was a fight, and he ended up getting killed right on this spot. So this monument has been here for 14 years now, and we are at the uh, prosecutor's office. Still smoldering records, computers, furniture windows smashed let me see if I oh there he is I Hi. just I just recorded the that part again had, had you recorded our way here from, from I had five day? minutes I had five minutes of footage before I accidentally hit the pause okay. button so I got part of it I think I messed up right so by you already told the story of Vihar yeah I think I paused it right by McDonald's you, you a, a journalist? no I'm not a, not officially wow. I do blog Roman, his name is. Yeah, I'm Ukrainian. I'm Ukrainian. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now I'm the police. So, what do you think about the situation which happened yeah, in yeah. Ukraine? I think it's very bad for us it, because the Ukrainian people want to be free, or we have, we, we want to be necessary. Yeah. We, we are necessary, and our our president is a very are you are you skeptical about the European Union? No, 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 no. no. I, uh, I and all Ukrainians want to be in your in your in yeah. Europe. We we are in Europe, but uh, yeah, but the situation which happened is not good for us. Uh, in my opinion, Russia want uh, think and want the, yeah. the, that we must be together. I'm, and I'm actually a little bit skeptical of the. I'm very skeptical of the EU. Yes. Yeah. I'd rather see Ukrainians uh, own guns and uh, and just have a lot of miseva uh, samovradovanya, local autonomy. I'll accept, but that's a long discussion, and my battery will not survive. Yes, but now it's in a war in Ukraine. Well, let's hope it doesn't escalate too far. It was nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too. Let's go that way.
a lot of people just walking in. So apparently, apparently there are no police in the city, but you know, no, no police. Yeah, I'm no talking police. to my viewers, no but uh, everything everything continues to function. Businesses. Oh, people are able to to provide security and to provide a peaceful situation by themselves. That's the yeah. That's the another evidence that. We don't need police in our society. We need to be. We need to own guns. And that's enough. <laughs> oh look, there's a there's a phone hanging from the window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone tried to call. <laughs> It'd be fun. It was too late. Yeah. It's like a cartoon, you just need someone hanging from the phone. Yeah. Like, hello, hello. <laughs> Beautiful buildings. Yeah, it's an old. I guess it's the beginning of the 20th century. Hey mom, if you're watching, there's a Veronica, that yellow awning. That's yeah. where we that's where we had coffee and pastries numerous times. Favorite places. Hey. <laughs> Well, great. You feel like uh, joining me for some Puzata Kata? Yeah, but let's go first to Matovich, uh, not far from here, so near Hroshevsky Monument. Okay. The police department was got up from the control Okay. Another interesting place and then we go back to Puzata. Alright, so we're gonna walk a little bit further. To the police station. Let me flip my camera around, and there's Veronica, one of my favorite, one of my favorite uh, coffee shops. Delicious pastries. Um, the owner uh, sends his workers to Austria to would... learn how to cook those pastries. I wonder what would you. Friends from Switzerland, models. Yeah. See, <laughs> when they just see all this stuff that's happening here. Near, yeah. Near the restaurant where, where they had a dinner. Yeah, yeah. I, unfortunately, <laughs> he doesn't keep a, a Facebook presence. Uh -huh. So here they. They will restore a traditional old cafe, Scottish cafe, or Scottish restaurant. R right there, they'll yeah, restore it. Yeah, where the famous mathematician school, uh, Scottish school in Lviv was found. Really? I, yeah. didn't, I didn't know there was a Scottish school of mathematicians. Yeah, you, you just should check out uh, Damn, Wikipedia. so many new cafes. One of the best mathematicians in the world were gathering here at the 20s and 30s and they were solving very difficult in the 20s and problems. 30s okay so in in the 20s there was a ukrainian polish war for control of eastern yeah. galatia so some of and uh, and this and the polish state emerged and and this became a, a purely polish uh city until 1939 when the soviets invaded uh and then the soviets chased out all the poles and then after the soviet union uh uh, and, the, and then and in the 1991 and it became Nazis Ukrainian. And just uh, chased all the Jews and uh, yes. exterminated Yeah, there the was Jews. also up to a 25% Jewish population. Okay, so so where, 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 where are we going? Should we talk about Hrushevsky? We're gonna pass his Hrushevsky. monument. Okay, sure. Well, on this place there was the monument to uh, Polish dramaturg uh, Fredra, Alexander Fredra. Uh -huh. uh, and the, when the Poles left the city, they took that monument with them, and it's now in Wroclaw, I guess, 
or Gdansk or other Polish cities. And was there like a monument of Lenin here afterwards? No, here yeah. here was no any any Soviet monuments never. Okay. Uh, so when did this one was put up? Was it in 1991 or uh, earlier? I guess in the late 90s. Late 90s. Late 90s. And who yeah. was Mikhailo Hrushevsky? Uh, Mikhailo Hrushevsky was a famous historic historian. 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 Yep. Historian. No, no. Uh, and he and he was the no, no. first president of Ukraine of the Ukrainian Narodna no, no. UNR. In 1980. 1918. 19, 18, 19, 19, 18. 18. Yes, right, right. It was a short-lived Western Ukrainian few state. Few months. But they they lost the war with the Poles uh, by by all accounts very professional war on both sides. Um, and uh, and then in those it was a bad time for Ukraine because most of Ukraine was at war uh, with the Bolsheviks, which was kind of a civil war. Uh, there was a monarch, a monarchic army, uh, a democratic army, and a communist army, and the Bolsheviks won. And here in the West, there was war between Ukrainians and Poles, and Ukrainians lost everywhere, unless you count the Ukrainians who were on the side of the Bolsheviks. Okay, see, see, you can see the big crowd there, so we are moving to the police department, which was captured, which was you know, occupied by a crowd, by a crowd, by a staff this night. Car there. Okay, let's see smashed cars. Smashed cars are fun to look at. Pile of documents smoldering. That, that does not look like a police car to me. not a police car, I guess. That's a car that belongs to one of the policemen because they always leave the, their own car here. Windows up on this building. I'm not sure what this building is. This is what, oh, I thought it was uh, okay. One of the main police departments. Oh, look, there people are recovering documents. They, will burn them. they want to finish burning them. <laughs> See, it's smoldering right below our feet. Wow. Yeah. Merchata Vinapolatam. Merchatam Vinapolatam. So it's the peace for houses, houses and, and the war to palaces. So it is oh, I don't know. The rich. <laughs> I, I tend to be pro rich people. But yeah. <laughs> I too, but yeah. It's the, here, the, the rich I people are, are, are oligarchs. The imprecise the rhetoric the of the revolution. Dangerous. So that's what a tire looks like when you start burning it. There's a smashed police car. War tourism. <laughs> Come visit me in Ukraine for some war tourism. All right, I think that's that's most of it. Wow, I would have never guessed it was the police department. Yeah, but one of the where the policemen are were very strict and were cruel. They the people don't like this building. This one in particular. Yeah. Well, they showed them. All right, well, 
that was interesting for me. Hope it was interesting for you. Thanks for watching. Slava Ukraini. Thanks a lot. Heroim Slava.